thanks for joining me. I'm Lorianne Fuller and today I want to talk about vocal registers. So that's just a fancy word that we use when we talk about where in our voice we are singing, whether we're singing a high note, a low note, a middle note, wherever that is, it's in that vocal register. So sometimes you might have heard of the words head voice and chest voice. So that refers to the placement of your sound when you sing high or low. So sometimes when you sing high, you feel it kind of in your head, in your mask of uh, the mask of your face. Oh, you might feel it right up there. So we call that head voice. Sometimes when you're singing low, you'll feel the vibration of sound more in your chest. Oh, so you, that's what we call chest voice. So the goal of actually studying vocal technique, learning how to sing, is to learn to connect your top notes all the way down to your bottom in one beautiful, unique sound. That's unique to you. And so if I demonstrate, oh, something like that. I can't, I'm a soprano, so I can't really sing those low notes as full as some of you guys out there, but you get the idea. You wanna create this beautiful connected sound that connects all those vocal registers. So what exactly happens in the different registers of your voice? Well, think about a guitar. If you look at guitar strings, the thicker the string, the lower the note. The thinner the string, the higher the note. So as we sing low, our vocal cords actually contract and become thick. So when they vibrate together, oh, I'm singing low, it's creating that nice low sound. When you sing higher, the muscles stretch and become thin. All of those notes then thin out my vocal cords and they're literally doing exercises in my throat high to low, low to high, thickening and thinning. So learning a good voice technique that will help to create that smooth transition in through the vocal registers is what the goal is. Now, sometimes the muscle is a little weak at the different transition points. In Italian, we call that passaggio. Passaggio. That just means passageway. So those are those little groups of notes that help to connect the different vocal registers, whether you're going up high, whether you're singing down low. So I'm going to teach you two really cool exercises, one in the high voice and one in the low voice to help with those passaggio points. Okay. So here it is. The first one is this chromatic exercise. So if we use the vowel E, e going up within that little interval of a third, major third, creating a nice balanced sound, no breaks whatsoever. If I start a little bit higher and really work in that passaggio, I'm going to start on an ooh sound. I'm finding the space above the tone and then bringing it down through that chromatic scale. Just learning to connect in that passaggio. And then you can switch vowels if it feels better. So that's the really great exercise for learning how to connect the upper notes, the high notes in the passaggio. Now in the low voice, I'm gonna teach you a little five note scale. And as we go down into the lower register, again, it's about creating that smooth connected line. I'm actually gonna use that off sound again. Oh. And what I'm going for is a really connected, buzzy kind of vibration sound, especially on that low note. Oh. You can even go lower. register instead of letting the notes fall back on the throat you want to keep them more forward as if you're speaking them oh. so it's very much in the front part of your face really very much in my teeth the front part of my mouth 
etc. I hope that's really helpful in helping to understand a little bit more about vocal registers. Check it out, do it on your own. Have a great voice day and happy singing.